today i am going to start a lecture series on <clears throat> work done and uh, in the later sections of the video i am going to discuss the types of work done in all detail uh, the application of formula the work done by friction and the work done by gravity correct so let us start with a discussion what is work done so work is said to be done on an object if an object undergoes displacement in the direction of force so suppose if there is an object like this you can consider this as a block which is on um, say on a on a surface and you are exerting a force now if there is no displacement then there is no work done but if this body displaces like this in the same direction and the block reaches over here and the block displaces by this amount then there has to be <clears throat> some work done taking place over here so in physics if there is no displacement on the application of force there is no work done right now the formula for work done is work done that is equal to f into d into cos theta and this cos is the angle between f and d so in the later part of the video i am going to uh, describe this angle theta in uh, in great detail so let us keep ourselves right now to this formula f is the force applied d is the displacement of the body and cos theta where theta is the angle between f and d this work done is actually a scalar quantity work done is actually a type of energy so it does not have any direction so force is a scalar a vector quantity displacement is a vector quantity but the product of two vector quantities over here is a scalar quantity so work done has got magnitude but no direction if you want to find out the si unit so si unit of work done that is let's use the formula so instead of force i am going to use newton instead of displacement i am going to use meter because i want to find out the si unit so i am going to put the si units of all of these cos theta is just a ratio so it is a unitless quantity right so it does not have any unit so newton into meter is called joule so this is the si unit and now if you want to talk about the cgs unit of work done then cgs unit of force is dyne cgs unit of displacement is centimeter of course this is a ratio doesn't have any unit this is called erg so 1 joule is equal to 10 to the power 7 erg and i have already derived this and i'll put the Uh, and the description in in the description you will all also find the link of this conversion right now people the uh, work done is actually classified into three parts work done is positive work done is also negative and the work done is also zero so we will see situations in which the work done is zero but basically work done is also positive and negative and we will also find out the meaning and now since people we are dealing with the cos theta over here we would like to extend our understanding that this is a coordinate system very basic of the mathematics we should know this is 90 degree so if we go like this the angle increases to 90 degree then here it is 180 degree then again over here 270 degree again back to 360 degrees so now this is called first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant this is fourth quadrant correct people now i will tell you a rule just remember all silver tea cups that means all silver means stands for sine function t means for tan function cups means for cos function and all functions are positive over here so that means if you take any value between 0 to 90 degree sin cos tan all will be positive over here <clears throat> but if i consider sin angle between 90 to 180 say sin 120 so all sin values are positive between 90 to 180 but if i take cos 180 uh, cos 120 degree it would be negative only sin values which are between 90 to 180 are positive over here any angle between 180 to 270 its tangent is positive over here rest cos and sin functions are negative and cos function between 270 to 360 degree is positive only in the fourth quadrant now remember one thing cos 
is 1 cos 90 is 0 cos 180 is minus 1 these three values people that you should remember this is of course plus 1 and then all the numericals and all the stuffs would be very easier for you so let us continue and understand situation 1 so now let's discuss the first situation and here we have a toy car and the center of the toy car is at the center over here and now we are going to exert a force in this direction like this and this toy car was at rest so initially the speed of the toy car was zero now when I exerted the force F right due to the application of force this van started to accelerate so the speed of the van is going to uh, increase and I'm not worried about the acceleration part but I'm just want to convey you that this car after some time T reaches over here at this point right and it is still in in a state of motion but at this point it will have some speed v and say this this car takes time t to reach from here to here so in time t this car has traveled a distance this much and if i say displacement then this would be the displacement because displacement is always in the direction of motion and you can see clearly that the direction of force and displacement are same so under this situation the formula of work done will be work done is equal to f into d into cos theta where theta is the angle between force and the displacement and clearly we can see that theta is 0 degree over here it is because f and d are parallel to one another so cos 0 value f into d into cos of 0 degree we know that cos 0 is 1 so my work done formula is finally f into d correct so my work done formula reduces to a very simple formula that is f into d this formula can be applied only when the force and direction are having angle 0 degree same angle i mean they are parallel to one another now let us consider a small sub situation in which I am exerting a force F in this direction like this correct and this force F is not a very huge force like it is going to lift up the car no it is not such kind of force so the center of the car is over here and due to the application of this force you can imagine a person standing and pulling this so the um, toy car moves in this direction so the toy car is moving in this direction and the displacement will be in this direction right so finally the car reaches over here so the displacement exactly if you want to see the displacement would be from starting point to the finishing point in this direction this is d but you can see that now there is some angle so I can shift this D over here so this displacement and force has got now some angle theta correct so under this situation the work done formula E will be equal to W is equal to F into D into cos of theta and now I will have to use this formula you will be given uh, in the questions the value of theta suppose if theta is 60 degree then cos 60 will be half so work done would be equal to f into d into cos 60 which is half so it is divided by 2 so final work done would be f into d by 2 so let us assume theta to be 60 degree then work done would be equal to f into d into cos of 60 degree and we know that cos 60 is half so f into d into half is divided by 2 so this is the work done formula when the angle theta is 60 degree correct people so this formula is to be used when there is some angle between f and d but if the angle between f and d is 0 degree you can directly use this formula okay so now we will see the another situation and we will try to apply this formula 
so let's discuss the next situation and over here people we have a wooden block that is mounted on an inclined plane and the angle of inclination of this inclined plane with respect to the ground is theta and we want to move this wooden block from here to here so let us apply how do we use this formula w is equal to f into d into cos theta this is the basic equation of work done and at any given point of time if you stop applying the force work done would be zero so from here to here i am supposed to constantly apply the force in this direction so there are two sub cases and i choose to apply force in this direction this is the direction of force and again the displacement of the block is again in the same direction as you can see the final position is over here initial position is over here and the body moves like this so the displacement and force are again in the same direction so this equation reduces to f d cos 0 degree because the angle between f and d is 0 so simply this equation w is equal to f into d so again in this situation the work done is f into d now people uh, i am choosing to apply the force in this direction correct suppose if i exert the force in this direction so there is some effect of force there is some component of force in this direction as well so due to this this block starts to move in this direction and finally we are supposed to constantly push it like this and the block will keep on moving up till the top now displacement is d and as you can see that f and d and these two lines so the angle between see this inclined plane and d are parallel f and ground are parallel so the angle theta will be the same angle theta over here so in this situation the work done would be equal to f into d into cos theta and if I say this work done as W1 and if I say this work done as W2, suppose this force is F1 and this force is F2. So people, I would like to make a point that cos whatever this angle is, this is an acute angle and say this angle is 60 degree. An acute angle cos theta is always less than 1. So that means this work done, this factor is less than 1. So this product will be less than this answer. Even though if I say this F1 is 100 Newton and this F2 is again 100 Newton, you can't directly multiply this 100 into D, right? Suppose this distance is 10 meter, this distance is also 10 meter. So here it is clearly seen that 1000 into 10 is, sorry, 100 into 10 is 1000 Newton, but here it will be 100 multiplied by d that is 10 and newton into meter will be joule and cos of theta that is half 60 degree over here if this is an acute angle cos of acute angle is always less than one so this product will be 500 joule sorry i made a mistake over here people it should be joule over here so under this situation even though the forces and displacements are same but still the angle between them is uh, less than 90 degree over here so work done w2 will always be less than w1 now people let me take this one step further this is what this is weight of the object correct and let me call the weight of the object as w1 so when this block is moving up this block is moving up due to this force not due to weight but still I can ask you the question what is the work done by the weight so you can say like this okay the work done by the weight work done by the weight would be equal to force into d into cos theta here the force is w1 that is the weight of the object multiply by displacement you have to consider the same only work done by the weight so instead of force I am going to use weight and displacement of the weight is D. Now 
cos of what angle people? See the angle between D and this W1 is this full angle out of which we know this angle is 90 degree. So this is 90 and this is theta. So the whole angle between W1 and D is 90 plus theta and I can also write it like this W1 into D into cos I have considered this theta as 60 degree so this will be cos 150 degree and I will have to substitute the answer and I will get my answer in joule but see people don't get confused the actual work done by us is due to this force but the work done by gravity or work done by the weight can also be asked simultaneously main is our work due to which this block is moving but in the question they can frame like this that find out the work done by gravity but I am going to give you a very short trick on the work done by the gravity in the next situation. So people let's talk about positive and negative work as discussed earlier that the work done can be positive and negative. So positive work done means when the displacement of the body and the force direction uh, are uh, same right so you can say that the displacement uh, sorry the work done is positive even if the angle between force and displacement is between 0 to 90 then also the work done is said to be positive right okay and here in this case work done w shall be equal to f into d into cos 0 degree so cos 0 is plus 1 so my entire answer is going to be positive right uh, as discussed earlier in a particular situation here the angle between F and D is acute and we know that <clears throat> all angles between 0 to 90 their cos value is positive correct and this I have already taught you in the beginning so cos 0 to cos 90 all values are positive so if the angle if the angle between the force and displacement is less than 90 but greater than 0 degree under that situation the work done is also said to be positive people now let us consider an example of negative work done see this vehicle is pushed by me in this direction so I am exerting a force in this direction due to which the vehicle moves correct but now the frictional force is against the motion so this is the force of friction FR and here how many work done you can calculate you can calculate three work done see work done by me that is equal to force applied by me into distance that will be positive but the force of the friction is in this direction but the displacement is in this direction so force and displacement are having an angle 180 degree so force in this direction displacement in this direction so work done by friction is equal to force that is fr into displacement that is d multiply by cos of 180 degree and people cos of 180 degree is minus 1 so minus fr into d would be the work done by the frictional force so work done by friction is negative whereas the work done by us would be positive as the directions is same now you can also find out the work done by the weight so weight is in the downward direction like this displacement in this direction and the angle is 90 and work done by the gravity would be zero in this case so there are two types of work done positive and negative and we can uh, take this as one step further in different cases as well So now let's move on to the third situation people here I am going to discuss about the zero work done cases. So here we have a wall and say a person is standing over here people forgive my drawing I am very mm, quite bad at it. So suppose this uh, is a person and he is exerting a force F of say 1000 Newton on this wall this is a stationary wall very strong wall and he is exerting force in this direction and this force F is 1000 Newton but we know that the wall is not going to move so work done is equal to force into displacement so if I 
calculate f into d but or if I write down w is equal to fd cos theta but anyhow d is going to be 0 so my entire answer is going to be 0. Correct. Now in the second situation I am going to consider a man who is standing with some load on his head. Now people he is not moving. Correct. But still if I make a point then the weight of the object is in the downward direction like this and now since this weight is not moving so he is applying his head is applying the opposite force in the of same magnitude in the opposite direction or not so if the weight of the body is w weight of this particular object is w downwards and this object is not moving down that means this object is stationary which means the sim same amount of force is being applied in the upward direction say that is f which is equal to w. So the work done by this man is equal to f multiplied by d multiplied by cos of theta but anyhow this is also 0 displacement is 0 correct so due to this displacement again the answer is going to be 0 joule because this man is stationary and it is not moving now what will happen suppose this man starts moving so let us understand the situation now over here we have a man who is having some luggage on his head there are many such situation waiter carrying some dish um, then coolie having some luggage on his head and moving now the coolie is walking in this direction so if the coolie moves in this direction the load also moves in this direction so after some time the load would be somewhere over here like this understanding people so in which direction he is exerting force on the on this particular body the answer is upwards because this weight is not falling down that means his head is exerting same amount of force in the upward direction to sustain the weight otherwise if it, his head doesn't apply the force in the upward direction the weight would actually fall down will make this uh, body fall down so the work done by this man is equal to work done by this man on this body is equal to force applied by the man on this body multiply by displacement of the body which is like this multiply by cos of theta but the theta in this case is 90 degree so again cos 90 is 0 we know this so my final answer of work done is again equal to 0 joules so people you may be given a situation like waiter is carrying a dish and the waiter is moving in this direction but he is holding something in his hand so suppose he is holding a dish so the weight of the dish is in the downward direction so his hand is applying the force in the upward direction now he is carrying the dish like this one so force in the upward direction displacement in this direction and the angle is 90 degree again the work done would be zero correct now we have an another situation in which an electron is moving around the nucleus or you can also say that this is sun and this is earth. We know that sun attracts the earth and there is an inward gravitational force, force of gravity that helps this earth to stay in its path. If this force of gravity is not there then the earth would continue to move in a straight line. But now people if I say that what is the work done by this gravitational force in one complete revolution. So when this again earth comes back the displacement would be zero. So work done is equal to f into d into cos theta. Now this force whatever it may be force of gravity multiplied by whatever this cos of theta may be but we for sure know that the displacement is zero. So my answer is going to be zero joules right people so there are some cases but the most important case is this people they mostly get confused over here it is the work done by this man on this object because he is exerting the force in the upward direction and the displacement of the body is in this direction now people I can make a similar question from here only the weight of the body 
is pointing downwards. So if I ask you, weight is nothing but the force of gravity. So if I ask uh, and if I frame a question, what is the work done by gravitational force in moving this block from here to here or luggage from here to here? The answer is again zero because the work done is equal to work done by gravity. Work done by the person is equal to F into D into cos 90. But work done by the weight that is equal to this force that is W. This is people work done. This is the work done. This is the force of gravity weight multiplied by displacement is happening in this direction. And again the angle between W weight that is the force of gravity and D is cos 90, 90 degrees. So again my answer is 0. So work done by the man is also 0 and work done by gravity is also 0. This Wg is the weight of the body that is mg. Correct? So in the next situation we will understand about the positive and negative work done as well people. So now let's talk about uh, the work done by gravity over here. So we have an object say we have a ball and we are leaving this ball from some height h above the ground. So this is a case of free fall and we are just leaving this ball right. So this ball falls under the effect of gravity and if the mass of the ball is m then the weight of this ball w is equal to mg and weight is the force which, ball, which pulls the ball towards the ground. Now there is no other force acting over here if I consider the air resistance to be zero. This ball is falling only due to gravitational force. No other forces are in the picture and that force is also pointing in the downward direction. And after some time you will see that the ball would reach over here. It will still continue to go down. So that means the displacement of the ball is in this direction. Correct people. So now if I apply the formula work done is equal to f into d into cos theta. Now f is the weight of the ball. So instead of f I can use mg because I am supposed to find out the work done by gravitational force. So work done by gravitational force so instead of force this w will come which is equal to mg multiply by d and multiply by cos of 0 degree because you can see that the displacement and the force weight are in the same direction. So it simply reduces to m into g into d where cos 0 is 1. So here you can see that the work done uh, is m into g into d and that too is going to be positive. So you can consider uh, work done by uh, free falling by the weight during free fall is positive and you can apply this formula. Now people see here there is a block and this block is being pushed by us in this direction. So I am exerting the force in this direction as well as the displacement is also taking place in the same direction. So work done by us would be f into d into cos 0 because again the angle between our force and the displacement is 0. But if I ask you that find out the work done, find out the work done by weight or by the gravitational force. So we know that weight is in this direction, correct and displacement is happening in this direction. Of course due to our force only this is going up but still we can frame a question that what is the work done by weight. So work done by weight would be equal to work done that is equal to f into d into cos theta but I am asking you what is the work done by the gravitational force. So gravitational force is same as the weight so instead of f I am going to use w d is the displacement. So this weight is constantly going to act till this block reaches over here. Weight is constantly going to be applied right and the displacement is d and now if you look carefully people this is displacement this is weight so the angle between the weight and the displacement is this full angle or not and suppose if I give you this angle theta as say 60 degree and we know that this angle is 90 degree. So here work done would be equal to cos of theta plus 90 where this theta 
is the angle of inclination. Because it is already given to us, right? Actually, the theta should be whole, but I am considering this theta over here. So, in my formula, I am going to use the angle between weight and displacement as this theta plus 90. So, if I reduce it, W into D, now cos 90 plus theta, that is equal to, so that means I am going to come in the second quadrant, right? Because just now, uh, in the beginning of the class, I had told you that uh, 90 more than angle 90 in the first quadrant, only the sine function is positive. So this sine cos 90 plus theta is equal to minus sine theta. So this is equal to minus W into D into sine. Now this theta is 60 degree over here. Now instead of this weight, I can write down M into G into D and then I can plug the value of sine 60 and in this way you are going to get a negative work done people. So when this block is being pushed by us from here to here, the work done by the gravity is negative. Correct. Here work done by the gravity was positive. Now people see this might seem a little bit difficult for you. So I am going to give you a short trick but this short trick would be only for grade 11 students only because they know that the gravitational force is the um, conservative in nature. So if you are a grade 10 or under grade 10 students, you should stop here and you should just accept this relationship that cos 90 plus theta is minus sine theta. Correct? So I am going to give you a short trick now. So now let's talk about uh, the work done by gravity and here <clears throat> There is a block and this block moves from uh, point A to B along the inclined plane and the block travels a distance D and which is also the displacement and the displacement is equal to the length of the inclined plane. The angle at which this uh, plane is inclined is theta and the weight of the block is acting in the downward direction. Of course, we are pushing in this direction. So our force is in this direction. So our force is responsible for moving this block from here to here. But still, if you are being asked, find out the work done by gravity under this situation, we can proceed as further. And height of the uh, this block or height of this inclined plane is h above the ground, right? So work done by gravity or work done by gravity or gravitational force and weight one and the same thing by gravity is equal to force multiplied by displacement. So from here to here, if we are supposed to find out work done by gravity, then I'm going to consider weight as the force multiplied by the displacement from here to here is D multiplied by cos of angle between D and weight. So this angle is 90 and this angle is theta. So the angle between displacement, look at this one, the arrow of the displacement and the weight vector is 90 plus theta, right? And weight is W multiplied by D. We know people cos 90 plus theta, 90 plus theta falls into second quadrant. So the cos value uh, in the second quadrant is negative. So this is equal to minus sine theta. So grade 10 students and 11 students can understand this. And now instead of weight, weight if the mass of this block is m, so weight is w is equal to mg multiplied by d into minus sine theta. And now I'm going to pull this minus sine in the front. So minus mg d sine theta. Now from this triangle, if I find out sine theta is equal to, look at this triangle, that is perpendicular, that is BC upon hypotenuse, that is AB. So this BC is equal to H, AB is equal to displacement, which can be equated to the length of the inclined plane. If the length of the inclined plane is given, then the displacement is equal to the length and that is equal to sine theta. So H is equal to D sine theta and I'm going to substitute this value over here. So minus M into G. Now this D sine theta is nothing but H. So this is the formula for work done by gravity people, right? And this is very important. So look, don't get confused. 
the block moves from here to here due to our force. So we are definitely applying the force in this direction. But they are asking us find the work done by gravity under this situation. So if you want to find out the work done, then in the work done, the force should be which one? Weight. Because they are asking work done by gravity. So we are going to consider W over here. And you can see that when the block moves from here to here, the work done is negative. Now, if I say that the block reaches over here and it stops, then find the work done by gravity. So I'm going to use mass. I'm going to use G. Now the H would be this one. This would be my H. If the block is over here, then this would be the H. If the block is over here, this would be the, be the H. Because under that situation, D would be small and this D sine theta would be equal to this H, not this H. Correct people? Okay. Now, whatever I'm going to say is for 11th grade uh, students and it is very short, right? And <clears throat> if I say weight, weight means gravity. And gravitational force is a conservative force. Which means that if I find out the work done with the help of weight, it is independent of the path. That means I'm only supposed to see the final and initial position. So initial position of the block is this. Final position of the block is this. So if I move the block like this or if I move the block like this, if I move the block like this, the work done does not depend upon the path. That is what is the meaning. Work done is path independent. So it only depends upon final and initial positions. So if you move the block like this, if you move the block like this, if you move the block like this, work done is same in all situation. Right? And let us find out. I am going to move this block from here to here. Right? So I will split up this entire situation. Instead of moving from here to here, let us find out the work done from here to here. And I must get, get the same answer. So the work done in moving the block from here to here is say W1. And work done in moving the block from here to here is say W2. So the work done W1 is equal to force and we are talking about the work done by gravity. So that is equal to W into displacement would be equal to AC and cos of angle between work done and the displacement. So that is 90 and we know cos 90 is 0. So work done by gravity in moving the block from here to here is 0 because displacement and weight are perpendicular. Now the block is moving up. So that means the displacement is up and the weight of the block is in the downward direction. So what is the angle people? 180 degree. So if I want to find out work done in moving the block from C to B, this was the work done in moving the block from A to C. So I must write down AC over here. Now work done in moving the block from C to B that is BC or CB. That is equal to weight work done by weight multiplied by displacement is CB in the upward direction and the direction between the uh, weight and the displacement. Displacement up, weight down. So that is cos 180 degree. So this is equal to uh, W weight multiplied by CB that is H multiplied by this cos 180 degree is minus 1. So this W can be written as MGH times minus 1. So again, my total work in moving the block from here to here was, total work was W total. That was equal to work done from A to C plus work done from C to B and out of which this was 0 and plus this was minus MGH. So my final answer is again minus mgh people. So I have proved a very important point that the work done by gravity is path independent. That means if you move the block like this, like this, like this, the work done would be same. So people, thank you for watching the video and do like my video, share my video and subscribe to my channel for more interested learning. Thank you.